gamers. Today, we're back and we're gonna analyze some tournament games. So I didn't manage to qualify for this tournament. I dropped down in round of 628. I'm just joking. I skipped the tournament because of my knee. But this is the energy slap test number two. Spoilers. Spoilers. Okay, if you don't want spoilers, look away. These are the group stages that happen. Group A, Group B, Group C, Group D. I'm not gonna go through every single group. There you go, so you guys can see the groups better because I know some of you are a bit old. And then the playoffs, Louis 3-0 Killardi, Marine Lord 3-0 Vortex, Wham 3-1 Zerton, Anotan beating Puppy Paw 3-2, which I thought was, a, in my opinion, an upset, right? Uh, then Wham beating Anotan, so taking the revenge for his brother. <clears throat> and then Marine Lord 3-2 against Louis. So Louis almost beating Marine Lord. He was leading 2-1, but Chimp got it in the end. Uh, third place match, Anotan beat Louis 2-1. But Marine Lord lost against Wham 4-2. That's crazy. But before we get into that, we're going to analyze those games. We're going to check those games out. Before we get into that, I received a package this morning. I received this package right here. Wow, congratulations to, I'm trying to, to Tutti Fruity for 100,000 subs. Now, the funny part is I got 100,000 subs uh, a couple of months ago, uh, or not a couple of months ago, like maybe two months ago, right? And then my, my I, I completely forgot about the play button. And then my editor was like, yo, you have you like, filled in the document so they can send you the play button. And I was like, oh shit, I forgot. So I filled it in, it's here, cutie patootie, boom, 100K. Thank you guys. I didn't want to make a separate video. You know, a lot of people do that. They make like a separate thank you video. I didn't want to do that because I don't want to take a whole upload just to be like, hey guys, so I got a play button, thanks, you know? Uh, so I'm going to just do it in this video. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. We've been going on YouTube for a while. And, you know, the next, the next goal is 100 million. You know what I mean? That's it. We skipped the million mark. We just got straight to 100 million. That being said, again, thank you so much, guys, for watching the content, for enjoying the content. Now, let's get into them games. Yeah, I'm silver in YouTube, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Conquer in A4, but I'm silver in YouTube. <sighs> All right. Um, was Gorge the first game? Gorge and these nuts. Uh, oh, my God. 40 minute game. If, if there's a lot of 40 minute games, we got to skip it. Okay, a lot of them are 14 minutes actually. Wow. Okay, then we're going to watch the uh, this one. I'm going to speed through it though because it's 40 minutes. So guys, there is a new GOAT in Age of Empires 4. The greatest gamer of all time. And right now that is Wemo 1. He has defeated Marine Lord, which recently won the tournament. Which means that Wham is the GOAT. But beastie goat means greatest of all time. Shut up, nerd. Wham is my goat. Thank you. All right, let's see what happened this game. I haven't watched these games. Um, so I kind of want to see what's happened, what's been cooked up. No, t no Tavara. Okay, late Tavara for Marine Lord. Okay, he forgot it probably. Um, he's got sheep. Wham played English, okay. Oh, with the Abby, okay. He was cooking already. The game hasn't even started, he's already cooking. Wham01, who's the best Chinese player? It's Wham also. He's not Chinese, but he is the best Chinese player. So he's doing the Abbey of Memes. Uh, for those that don't know, recently there was a patch, you get Free King. So that's been pretty popular. Okay, yo, I like that opener. Okay, Wham is really cooking here. Pulls one villager to force another tower over here. Look at that. 
So now Marine Lord has to make two towers and he's just gonna go back. Okay, I like that. Meanwhile, he's got a second town center. So that's pretty nice. And uh, yeah, Marine Lord's gonna rush castle. And now Wham will rush castle too, I assume. Seven, yeah, seven, three on wood. So this is a Marine Lord. Uh, it's probably gonna go for the Mounted Samurai, I would assume. Marine Lord is not really the type to go like Samurai and try to cheese with just barracks or something. Okay, he pushed in the deer here as well, which is pretty nice. Wham with super early walls. Holy smokes. Oh, he's gonna spot that. Oh, that's unlucky. I mean, unlucky. He scouted it, so I guess it's not lucky. Um, so he's gonna start walling. He's got the king, and there's the stable. So this is gonna be mounted samurai, and I assume Marino is gonna take all the relics, because he should. White tower. Actually, a pretty good timing on the age up, by the way. Considering Marine Lord Rush Castle, this is a pretty, pretty good timing. And uh, I actually really... So, there's been a little bit of a change in the English meta. Obviously, because of the king. But another reason is people realize, like, White Tower is not that bad. And the reason it's not that bad is... Um, one problem with the English in the past is... Um, if you go to TC, people go into... Uh, King's Palace and then what happens is you're getting drained from food because you're producing three villages at a time And then you have no production and then you have no upgrades and then you just can't afford anything But if you go for White Tower, not only it protects your farms and gold because you should always build farms around it But you can also make any unit So you actually don't need production for a while and I'd be surprised if Wham even goes for production buildings you can just produce whatever you need from this. If you want crossbows, you make crossbows. If you want knights, you make knights. So, right now, he's got two knights. He's queuing up two more. So, I think White Tower with two TC like this is pretty good. And uh, so this this building is, uh, for those who don't know, also produces 100% faster. So, it's basically like having two stables or two archer rangers, two barracks. So, it's pretty good. Or siege workshops, yeah. So it's been more popular to go for that. And I feel like now... Like, I like English's position better. I'm gonna times 8 this game, because again, it's 40 minutes. So I don't know what happened from here on out, but in this current position, I like uh, Wham's spot a lot more. And I think he has already denied... Yeah, this has already been killed. So he killed two monks at least. Now, if he does some micring here, or he also has the uh, network of castles. But if he does some micro here, he can just heal up the knights on Abbey of Memes, which is really nice. They're getting healed up. So, okay, we see Onamushas. For those who don't know, there's the Japanese crossbows. Sick wall here, probably. It was an optimistic wall. And now, again, I like this position for English a lot more because now he's making Onos and Mounted Samurai and all that Wham needs to do now is make... Okay, he's going crossbows, which I guess is fine. He can also go longbows and then just kill Onamushas, right? But crossbows are probably better, right? So Marine Lord, as expected, with this kind of game, he's going to get five relics. I think he's trading... Oh, he, he's trading a bit worse. And now he's gonna get caught with these. Marine Lord still doesn't have... Um, what is it called? Bannerman? Which is pretty bad. Because he has so much cavalry. So there's no reason not to make the cavalry Bannerman. He's mowing down these. I don't know why Marine Lord's fighting here. That was, uh, he just threw away his whole army. Yeah. Wait, does anyone know if you hotkey white tower and you make with barracks and you make spearmen, is it gonna make it from this too or no? It doesn't work. That'd be cool if it did work, right? You hotkey white tower with every building.
You upkeep barracks and then tower and it works? I should try that. That's kind of wild if it works. That's really good. We got mixed answers. Okay. I do feel that this matchup in Imp, by the way, is way better for Japanese. Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna pass Ona. He's mowing him down. So the reason why I think this matchup is way better for Japanese in the late game, because all you need to do is just mass Samurais, and Samurais will destroy literally everything. That was kinda it. Yeah, he definitely works, because he's been producing... Okay, I wish I could see his hotkeys. He's producing, you see that? Look, he just queued up. And at the same time, this queued up, so yeah. That's pretty cool. Good to know. I never knew that, actually. I only produced White Tower a few times, to be honest. Because I don't really go to this English too much. This looks pretty bad for Marine Lord. But ah, my leg is in a lot of pain, guys. Still recovering from the surgery. I think I've over. What is it called? Over. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. That's painful. Overlegged it, sure. But this looks pretty good for a lamp. Okay, leg needs to rest. Oh my god, this feels nice. Alright, so now I'm gonna go like this. My right leg is right there, it's waving at you. Overexerted, that's the way. The ring was really good at holding in situations like this. Look me also also I'm a gamer in situations like this. Um like basically being pushed back and just kinda dead, but you're not. I don't know, like I said, I think it's a hard matchup at this point. I'm pretty sure, like in Imp, Marine Lord is just gonna go Mass Samurai and beat his ass. But Wham is already Imp. Yo, he went for the Wind Guard. So recently something was buffed here, I can't remember what. Is this buffed? This? Something was buffed recently in Wind Guard Palace. stream a long time it's too rough i tried playing like this yesterday it did not work out it was very uh it did not work out i just can't do it all right at this point i feel like I, we can end it like it, it just like i said it's just hard oh God, there's so many farms they're so far away as well gunsmith That's it. He's making more and more samurai. And like I said, I know what happens from then on. Who won? Uh, Marine Lord won that one. Because if that game reaches Imperial, all it, uh, Japanese needs to do is spam samurais. And even if... Like I play games where I go hand cannoneers and men at arms to like tank, it just doesn't work. I generally don't know what to make. This was the next map. Ayubid versus Abbasid Dynasty. This is an interesting matchup. Um, I played recently this matchup against Louis, although I did the Keg W. Uh, I did like trade wing. Uh, I don't think, yeah, I don't think Wham is gonna do that. And Marine Lord considers Ayubi the best save in the game. For a while now, actually. 
Uh, so it's kind of interesting because Wham ended up winning this one, and Wham opens up with Culture Wing. So I'm assuming he's gonna do Culture Wing into just Fast Castle. So that's it. And also, Wham likes making t his TCs like this, like next to the wood line. I was about to say that. Um, the food for Wham is actually really bad. Marine Lord's food, two deer packs, and berries in the back. That's standard. Uh, Wham's food, I mean, he has food here and here, but that's pretty far, right? And then he had a deer pack really close, but Marine Lord pushed back the, the deer. Okay, is he gonna rush castle now? He's making a, an arch range, probably for a few archers. And Chimp is gonna age up soon. Oh, Marino is making some archers too, okay. Didn't see that. I mean, I like that. He's still aging up, but not too quick, you know. He's not being super, super greedy. Okay, good micro from the goat wham. Not losing anything there. I would have lost like four villagers there. And I would have cancelled the tower. Boom. Okay. Three archer ranges. Now, this uh, this is something that I've seen Wham do. But a lot of Abbasid players have started uh, basically expanding. And then just doing a lot of archer ranges and defending with only archers. But uh, the first person I've seen do this was Wham and Poppy, or the first two people, I guess, were Wham and Poppy Paw. And they just mass archers if they need to defend, they just stay around the TC. And basically, the idea is you, when you age up, you upgrade archers and have composite boat upgrade, and you already have like a really strong army, even against like men at arms or whatever. Uh, okay, he's gonna go there. A ram is coming. Oh, that's not gonna work. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, he runs away. He's denying gold here, which is pretty big, actually. And Marine Lord, 16 on gold. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, so he aged up, but he can only make one Camel Answer, which is pretty bad. That's, like, not what you want, right? Uh, his A jump is gonna be with military wing. I like that. I should play more Abbasid actually. Next time I play one on ones, remind me that I wanted to do more Abbasid. Because I like this build. This style build, whatever you want to call it. Let's see. Is he taking relics yet? Is about to a boot to oh yeah yeah what happened here wait did he cancel the last part and he canceled the wall that's what might have happened no plus one ranged armor for marine lord but uh, oh yeah yeah double mosque he wants to vacuum all the relics and military wing completes i mean now i feel like this is Pretty good for Abbasid. Like, Ayubid, I feel like, has very small timing here to do something. Like, very, very small timing. Look at that. Composite bows. Oh, he's getting boot camp first. Okay, a little target fire. Camel riot. Camel and camel action. Good target for it, actually, I like that. That looked a lot like scarier, because I didn't know how many camel answers there were. So he's gonna clean that shit up. Getting some eco upgrades, Chimp is pushing. But he's already behind on workers. I feel like there should be more behind. Oh, he aged up with eco wing. Right, 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 I forgot. I was like, why is there only 9 villager difference when they both kill 2, but it's the eco wing. I forgot about that. Oh, these villagers. Is that gonna burn? No, he repairs it because he's the goat. And 
Archer Camel Lancers versus Archer Spearman Ghulam. Mm. No second town center from the Rune Lord yet. He's just committing. Okay, he's actually not mind. He's making a second TC soon. Oh, yoy, yoy. He ran into that one. Sucker blood. Mem's just everywhere with towers. Walls, towers, fucking pumping, units. No manga from either side. Yeah, I feel like this matchup, even if Marinor gets five relics, I feel like Avacid is just is just better. Like, the economy with Ayubi just doesn't feel good, in my opinion. And, uh... I don't know. Like, also, Composite Bows are very strong. Obviously, Ayubi has the other upgrade, where if you kill a unit, you get, like, damage. But... I think Composite Bows are just so much stronger. Your archers are fucking blasting the whole time. Yeah, big fight over here. He kaiden. Oh, that does not look good for him at all. Gets caught a little bit, but he's gonna be alright. He's got some gulams killing archers. Yeah, the thing is that look at the look at the eco right now. One and a half, three. He's got like 3k eco. Marino got 2.3. And he's not even mining gold. He's just fucking pumping normal units. The beta units. Oh, this is his keep. I think this is Marino's keep. Oh, yeah. Bootcamp too. Yeah, true. I thought this is Marino's keep. Like, he's dropping it to get Sacred Set or something. Like, look at the archers, man. They're just blasting. Like, the archers are untouched. Look how fast they're shooting. I, I don't... I think this matchup is pretty rough for Ayubit, to be fair. Because you're kind of playing the same Civ, except you can Castle Rush, and Abbasid has better units, right? But if Abbasid reaches Castle somewhat similar timing, then... Abbasid just has better units and that better eco. No spoilers? Yeah, this has already been spoiled already a couple of times. Oh god. Bro, look at the arches. Fucking hell. They're just denting in everything. He's cooking him up. But yeah, that's a, that's a very good build. The build that Wham just did is... Uh, this That's the build that Papipo did against me and I lost. Um, it's a very good build, I think. I really like it. Because your army transitions really well into castle. Which is kind of an Abbasid thing. Because you go from shit archers to like fucking archers with boot camp and composite bows. It's really, really good. Beauty, you look fresh today. Maybe I should shower. Maybe you should. It's been a week. Oh yeah, one thing by the way, about because I have, you know, I had surgery, so I can't shower, right? Because I can't uh, make my knee wet. So I'm showering like in, you know, medieval times. I get a cloth, you know, gotta scrub myself. Unlucky. At least if it was like a, like a top body surgery, at least you just fucking wash from like, you know, your dick down or something, right? But because it's leg, I can't really do that. Pixar didn't happen. Oh, it did happen. Uh -uh. Got that stanky leg? No, no, no. I, I wash me legs. Wrap your leg in plastic. What the hell? 
hell no. I'm not risking fucking... Fucking it up now. Don't worry, I'm not stinky, okay? I, I, I know how to use a, a water and soap and cloth, okay? Thank you, Twitch chat. That's gonna be a perma. Alright, next one. And washing my hair is easy, I just, you know, one of those. Stick your leg out of the shower? Okay. Marie Lord on Chinese versus J to the D. Uh, he is doing the cutie build. I'm just gonna take this. This is my build now. It's the cutie build, so. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I don't like that at all. I mean, I, I know why he did it, but like, come on, just do this villager here. You know? Okay, the cock build, actually pretty decent against Chinese. <clears throat> and I'm not, I'm, I'm, I don't know what Marine Lord did. As of right now, I have no idea what he's doing. He's gonna be a Barbican for sure. And it might be just a 1 TC Zugino lid. Wham is doing like the... So this build is like... You're basically doing 2 TC. Uh, and you're kind of baiting your opponent into all in you, right? So this is the idea. You do a 2 TC as JD. And if your opponent does 2 TC, you commit to trading, right? So you have 2 TC plus trade. If your opponent does not do 2 TC, you just go 2 TC and you do defend. Mill to blonde the cock? Okay, bro, chill. That's just what it looks like. That's not, not, what, not what's happening. Oh, oh la la. Oh la la, sacré bleu! That's unfortunate. Okay, and now see why he's checking this, right? He's checking that to see if there is second TC. He doesn't see any. A lot of horsemen are coming. So, Chimp will be all inning. Oh, maybe not actually. Okay, he's going for stone now. He's just gonna open some horsemen. Horsey boys. That shit's dead. Boom. Okay. Double stable. Knights are coming. To town center. Okay. Uh, I actually haven't been... I, I didn't pay attention closely. I don't know if he saw the second TC, but the way he's moving, I feel like he, he does know there's a second TC. Archer ranges. Stables. He saw that for sure through that little crack. Wait. Okay. Maybe he didn't know. He was going all the way around. Yeah, maybe he did it now. Okay, one villager kill so far. Oh, Marino's about to age up, actually. He's kind of doing a lot of uh, distracting and damage with these horsemen. Being quite annoying with them. Now, Wham's coming with JD. And he's got a lot of army. But oof, the palace guards are about to come out. And now, Wem's got a choice. There's only two choices. You know what those choices are? You either all in, or you stop making units and you age up. And he is choosing to... All in. He is committing. Mm. 
nine Palazgars already. He doesn't have plus one armor, which is actually pretty big. Because uh, Palazgars have one less ranged armor than normal men at arms. I. I. He's target firing the, the thing. Dead. And that should be GG. Nesta D's nuts coming. Spanish? Means help me? Huh? Huh? Why are French? Speaking that. Oh. Yeah, he didn't target fire the, um crossbows with archers there at all. They were just kind of auto-attack into palace guards. I mean, I think at that point the game is probably over, but, you know, maybe he could have held it up. So at this point it was 2-1 for Marine Lord. And now we go on Prairie. Now, I haven't seen Prairie in a while, and uh, this tournament had Prairie as, uh, you know, one of the maps. And uh, Prairie is always interesting. Prairie went through different kind of versions and different metas and um, I don't know what's the meta or thought process now but it used to be very heavy favored for Mongols but maybe Mongols was oh no Marine Lord has Mongols I'm looking at the draft Marine, Lo Marine Lord has Mongols but Marine Lord chose Malian which the two best civs on Prairie were pretty much always Mongol and Malian. There was some JD being played. Um, but, yeah, that, that's kind of it. So, picking Delhi here, I tried playing Delhi, but... I feel like if you're playing against Malian, it's probably okay. But if you're playing against, uh, like, French or JD, I think it's really fucking annoying. So, I think in this matchup it's okay, because Prairie doesn't have a lot of wood. But, um... On other maps, it's probably not as good. But in this matchup, like, Malin is not going to be the aggressor, right? Malin is going to be the one camping and getting cows and all that. So, probably a fine matchup to play on this map. Lolo. He actually went for um, a lot of houses before he started aging up so that he can look at his gold. He's getting wheelbarrow and he's got 176 gold so he can get double broad axe now. See that? Boom. And now I'll make cows. So build looking pretty clean. He went stable plus archer range. That's interesting. What's the point of the stable here? I don't like that. Why stable? Sofas get destroyed by Ghazis and you need Donzos, right? He's gonna go around and scout, okay? Sofa. I mean, maybe because sofas cost only gold and food. But yeah, I feel like that stable is a bit wasted, probably. They're gonna fight over sacred side. And basically, if you play aggro versus aggro on prairie, it comes down to whoever runs out of the first wood line. If you don't let them get on the second wood line, they kind of lost the game. You know? Because, yeah, if you can't get wood, you can't make archers or, or you know, spearmen or horsemen or whatever. And you're kind of just dead. <clears throat> we got two sacred sites. He's getting out of ram already. It's kind of wild. Okay. 
And uh, also on Prairie, your second gold is pretty far away most of the time. So getting second gold against Ma or against uh, Delhi on this map is just not gonna work. You're gonna get punished super easily. You're getting plus one ranged, which I think you go plus one ranged armor first because it's more important. Look at the army difference already. So now, basically, all Malia needs to do is hold in order to win, because they can just uh, they have cow boom right, and they got passive gold. And Delhi needs to like try to end the game, basically. So it just becomes a micro battle. I would say, in general, unless the map spawn is really good for Malian, I would say this is a pretty rough matchup for Malian. But I've also heard a lot of people think that this is a good matchup for Malian, so I don't know. I don't know. I kind of like this matchup for Delhi, but I've heard some people say it's good for Malian because basically. If you hold and you don't die, then the more armor you have, the better it is for you. Should you go for Remba? No. No for Remba. And now, he's out of food. So now this is this is the problem of this map, and this is why you want to play, you know, aggressives usually, like Mongols or whatever. Because... He has no wood. He got pushed off of wood on this side. And now he's only gathering food and gold. So he can only produce now like Musafari Warriors, which are useless. And then Javelin Throwers plus Sofas. And that's obviously pretty rough because Wham is producing Gazerators because he has wood income, he's producing Archers. So. Like just in why didn't he capture this bro? Did he get denied? I didn't I didn't pay attention. Yeah, the longer this game goes, it's just worse and worse. Look how many villages he has to do in gold. Because he has to produce cows to eat them. Because otherwise these villagers are not gonna do anything, they're just gonna idle. He's trying to take wood desperately, right? Uh that ain't gonna work. And Gazi Raiders basically just tank damage for archers. And eventually you reach critical archer mass, and uh, the archers will like one shot javelin throwers. And you start over killing with javelins a lot. Yeah. More idle time. His gold is gonna run out soon, actually. Okay, three and a half. Not, not, not that soon. He trying. Even idle villagers. Ay, 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 ay. Thing is, Marine Lord is killing a uh, like good amount, right, of the army, but he just can't sustain. Good game. Well play. Look at this food because of the cows. And now he's out of gold. Out of gold. Out of food. Out of plan. And wham! Cooking! That was a pretty good game. Good guy. Well played. I wonder what Marillard was expecting there. What the hell? Do you see those archers speedrunning? Hey, I don't know what he was expecting there to be picked. Um, Because Marillard had Mongols, right? So Marine Lord could have picked Mongols on that map, but he chose to pick Mongols on Himayama instead. So I don't know. Like I feel like he could have he could have picked like French on Himayama, Mongol on Prairie, 
and then Dry Arabia, you could have picked Malian. I don't know, maybe you wanted to like mind game. I don't it's very hard to say because you don't know what players want. Oh my god. That's a spawn right there. That's a spawn right there, brother. What do you think about business didn't counter every civilization in their game? In their own game? I have no comment. I need to get Byzantine lunatics to leave me alone. If there's any Byzantine lunatics in the chat, your Civ is the weakest it's ever been. It's so weak. Any player that wins with Byzantines is so smart and it... All compliments because Byzantines is, you know, it's such a bad Civ. It's so hard to win. You only need like two arms and a brain of a monkey to win. That's about it. But, you know, props to you, brother. You're a rocket scientist. So this matchup is um, actually used to be a very common matchup and basically the way it works is if you commit to full feudal you will lose to Ottoman. Um, but as Mongol, right? Because Ottoman will get the Mehter or the healing shit, the zero point. But as Mongol, you should always be able to get a faster age up, so your goal is like to make some units and then age up. Like he's doing. So he gets a faster everything. And he can get upgrade and all that. Actually, th yeah, I actually caught this game uh, live when it was happening. Yeah, there's the Imams for healing. Heals him up to full. Gets the scout. And now... Um, I mean, I don't, I don't know what to think. I, I think that, I think that Ottoman did get nerfed quite a bit. To be fair, like their military production is noticeably lower, but at the same time, I also think that if nothing happens, this matchup was always favored for Ottoman. Like if nothing happens. And the weird thing is, Marine Lord never went for Keshex. He just stayed on like archers, which I, like I don't know what the plan was. And the reason for that is like if you both go spearman archer, it will eventually evolve into just archer versus archer. But Wham has archers that have like. What is it, 20%, 15% attack speed? So you're just not gonna win that. So I'm not sure what the idea of it is. The Imams are doing so much healing, even passive healing, which is very nice. He's got plus two ranged armor. Oh, he's got plus two ranged armor, and Marine Lord doesn't even have plus one ranged attack. So his stuff is super tanky. Look at that. That archer just survived 11 shots. Kinda cool. Well, I like that. So trade is going. And yeah, this is the this is a point. I think a bit earlier I started watching live. So basically they just keep having fights. He's making Keshix now. But he's not he doesn't have any blacksmith upgrades. Like look at the look at the damage difference. Like when they shoot. You see that? They're just not taking like any damage. Even his Keshik is just falling over. So Wham kind of heavy committed to uh, just kind of going for it. No, he's got double broad axe but no wheelbarrow and he got super early blacks and upgrades. And it's kind of paying off. And if he gets here, then the trade is stopped and the game just ends. Look at the army difference. This is the thing, like, Ottoman um, military school production has been nerfed, but Mongol does not have that good of a military production, so... It's pretty rough. Now you can see his plus one ranged 
armor, but no damage still. And you can see he's already doing so much better with some cash eggs and upgrades, right? But he was like one half of his army, so it's kind of like you ain't gonna win that one, you know? And that was 3 2 for Wham! At that point, which puts us to the last game, which is French versus Byzantine. And, uh, well, Byzantine is, uh,. It's one of the sibs, you know what I mean? Next. Now, for the purpose of not getting harassed by Byzantine lunatics, I will just say uh, Byzantine is such a weak sib, and uh, French is hugely favored in this matchup, and uh, if Byzantine wins, then that's crazy. Never seen that before. In all seriousness, uh, two bottom sibs going at it. <laughs> In all seriousness, <clears throat> this is a... Uh, Pretty rough one for French. I want to see actually what was Marine Lord's last sieve. Oh, wrong button. Okay, so Abbasid. Wait, was it Rus? Wait. Ah, okay. <clears throat> so last map was Cliffside, and Marine Lord played this, 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 and this. And Wham played this, 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 this. So basically, oh, and he played Ivan. So basically, it was Dry Arabia and Cliffside. So Marino had the option of Rus or French, and Wham had the option of HR and Byzantine. In which case, I feel like French has shit matchup in both of those. French versus HR or Byzantine is pretty bad. And I think Rus. Rus versus Byzantines, I'm not sure how that goes, but I'm imagining the same way as any Knights versus Byzantine. And then Rus versus HRE, that's probably better for Rus than it is for French. I mean, I think at this point the draft is kind of cooked up. Like, I don't, I don't think there's really good options. You could maybe, like, I don't think he really has good options, yeah, in there. Maybe you could make a, an argument that French could have a better chance against HRE than, than French has a better chance against Byzantine. So maybe you could try to get Rus versus Byzantine and French versus HRE, but I think it's a pretty rough one at this point. Marino got outdrafted? Uh, yeah. I mean, he did. The thing is, a big part of AoE is drafting, right? That's why we love it as well, and that's why sometimes things work out, sometimes things don't work out. I don't, by the way, I just want to say this, like, I don't think that if you get a favorite matchup, it's a free win, right? But there are some matchups that are very hard. Like, I think Mongol Ottoman, I don't think it's necessarily favored anyway. Like, I personally prefer Ottoman, but some people prefer Mongol, right? And it depends how the game starts, what situation is the game in. I would say this matchup is favored for Byzantines. Like, just straight up favored. What are the, some of the other matchups that we've had? So, I would say Japanese versus English. Like, yeah, Japanese is better in end, but English, I think, is better before that. Ayubid versus Abbasid. I don't think it's a free win for Abbasid, but it is favored. Um, China versus JD. I think either Sib can win there. Prairie, um, Malian versus Delhi. Again, a lot of people think it's Malian favored, a lot of people think it's Delhi favored. Ottoman, uh, Mongol, either Civ can win. I would say the only really hard ones are most likely Abbasid Ayubid and then French Byzantine. All right, so let's see. What did Marine Lord go for here? Ooh, I hate that TC. Fuck, you know. Well, actually, it's not that bad because he's got the Marine Lord special here. Bro, well, I'm sorry, but how does he keep getting away with this, dude? Look at this. Wall? Tiny wall? Tiny wall? One, two deer packs, berry, gold, gold, berry, gold, stone. What the fuck, man? Like, just compare top and bottom spawn. Just compare, j let's just pause the game and look at the top and bottom spawn. Etimos. He lost? Well, yeah, this matchup is fucked, but yeah. 
I don't think a spawn is gonna help you in this matchup. The thing is, to be fair to the chimp, in this matchup, the spawn doesn't matter for French because French is the one who needs to be aggressive, so. It ain't gonna help him. I don't like that 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 Marine Lord is just letting him get everything for free. Why is there no units? Okay, he's making now. I, I don't like that he's letting him wall for free. Like I think if you play French, you kind of have to like have a a knight and a, a scout just going around and and just kind of denting in the villagers. Because if he gets this and this wall for free, then he has uh, berries here, which is pretty close to his main TC, and then berries here, and that's a shit ton of mercenaries. So I don't like that, that he just kind of let him do whatever. And now, oh my god, oh god. Dude, if he... Oh, maybe he's out of range. Okay, never mind. I was gonna say, if he denies that... See, if these these guys were here earlier, that's so fucking annoying for Byzantine. Like, okay, if we pause the game here, what do you do as French? French cannot rush castle. I mean, what's the point? So, at best, Marine Lord could have... You, you either go 2TC or you stay 1TC. If you stay 1TC versus Byzantine, you will lose. Because they will have Javelin throw limit in A. So if you're both playing equal economy, you're fucked. You ain't, you're not going to trade that efficiently. So, it's pretty rough. You shot my arm. Yeah, I don't know. It's pretty rough already. Like, you look at the idle time. Ram is coming. Oh my god. Uh, uh, oh no, that's not idle time. Sorry, I'm done. This unit's I'm sorry. Look at this, like he, he has no, he has no knights, even if he kills Levitane, he's got one knight. Is it just trying mass archers? Eighteen limit and eight and fourteen challenge throws. Dead. That is pretty rough. Like this army can just go under TC now <coughs> and kill villagers. 49 on wood, 46 on wood. I'm a bit surprised by the way that Marine Lord didn't go on deer or boar. Because usually Marine Lord's pretty good with that. Like, you can't really go French and go sheep and berries. Which is kind of what he did. He went sheep and berries here. He didn't go early boar, which I found a bit surprising. He didn't go early deer. Because you kind of need... When you go French to TC, you need that big boost of income to be able to make army and everything else. Now when Byzantines gathers these berries out, he will slow down on the oil. So... You can have, like, so right now he made 20 javelin throwers total, right? He's about to make another round, and he can probably make another round. So he can have, like, 28 javelin throwers total, and then he needs to go farms. Which is a lot of javelin throwers, but if you survive that, that's when you maybe got something going on there. You know, kind of thing, but... It's rough. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what to do here, to be honest. I think you've got to go in deer and boar or something. And just kind of try to giga boost your production. Market is going to sell wood. No? I'm not selling anything? 
Aging up from Byzantine. He's just hunting his archer rangers, which is kind of funny. And that's it. Shield wall. And now he can just go back. Oh my god, look at his workers. Yo, they got burned by the fucking chiropractors. And now all he needs to do is just push again. Veteran limit to name. Zug zug. Look at gel in the doors. Pew, 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 pew. They don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck, brother. Alright! Wow. Wham01 is your goat. He is the goat. He's a pumper. Congrats to Wham, in all seriousness. That's a very good result. He beats again. He beats Zerton 3-1, Anochad 3-1, Anochad beating Puppy for 3-2. And then he beat Marine Lord in the finals 4 to 2. Shout out. Amazing. Love that. Yeah. Cool stuff. Yo, for those Twitch gamers that maybe missed it. Wow. Little play button. Where do I put it? Like here? Do I even hang it up behind the stream? Oh my god, there's a mirror. Do I hang it up? Because everyone does it. Dude, I got so this thing that says presented to, and that you can you type your name. I was thinking about putting like these nuts, and seeing if they're gonna send it. But I was like, fuck it, I'll just do my name. Presented to these nuts for passing 100,000 subscribers. Uh, anyway, that was the analysis of the recent tournament. Again, I could not because I see every once in a while someone asks why didn't I play. I could not play because my. I was recovering from my leg surgery, um, and I should be playing other tournaments in the future, hopefully. If you're watching this on YouTube, I want to thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. I hope you uh, had a great day, great morning, great night, and I'll catch you in the next one. Twitch gamers, keep going.